Hey guys, Anafan9 and 7203 here, and... Alright, let me put it this way. This video is going to start out with a bit of a rant, and then it's going to end off with me talking more calmly about what you see here. Um, this is the scottgames.com website. Uh, why? He says, oh, the fourth one's going to be the last one. Oh, nope, no, wait, there's going to be DLC, but that's technically not another game. Oh, no, actually, there's FNAF World, but that's, that's not a main game, so it doesn't count. And then here we go. Five Nights at Freddy's sister location. There was never just one. Ugh, I want to punch something so bad. Or stab something. Or repeatedly punch and stab something. I don't know, but this isn't. Yuri hates me. <laughs> the whole... Everything... Behind this game... Is you're in a new restaurant, it looks like. Um... I mean, at least we can definitely say it's a restaurant. You know, one of the... Uh, Freddy's... Fazbear Pizza restaurants. Because it says sister location, and there was a sister location of that, but I doubt there's a sister location of that kid's house and of the Five Nights at Terror or whatever that was. <sighs> Why? I don't even know what to say from Scott Gawson. He says, oh, I'm going to be taking a break after this. FNAF World's a huge flop. You would think he'd say, it's enough with the FNAF series. I've had plenty of success there. I'm going to give it a break, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop. You know, the story's been kind of wrapped up for the most part, enough to the point where theorists can figure it out. And my other... Adventure in that game series was a failure. So you know what? I'm just gonna be done. You know that's that's a good business strategy. You know when when you when you've got a popular series that's uh, doing pretty well. You know you make sequels and then once you've wrapped up the storyline to the point where there's nothing else left to do, then of course you know you make spinoffs, which is what he did. Popular business decisions. But then when your spinoffs fail horribly and they get horrible reviews to the point where you just take them down. No one else can play them. Yeah, you would think that you'd be like, alright, you know what, we're gonna set that franchise to rest. Maybe later we'll come back to it, you know, in a, in a while. But for now, we're gonna work on other stuff. And try and make some new projects. Try and come up with something new. Try and come up with something else interesting. Something else to make us think, you know what, maybe this guy isn't just a one-trick pony. Well, that's not where Scott's going, and this is so annoying. I don't I don't know what's how this is gonna fit into everything. I'm not sure if the dream theory is confirmed. Game Theory has an episode on that, watch that if you want. Or if we're sticking with the normal timeline that we've been going with until freaking FNAF 4 came out. I don't know. I, I don't know. I really don't. And I mean, to be fair, the Dream Theory isn't the only theory that makes somewhat sense. You know... Even in the dream theory, feels like there are coincidences, and I have a feeling that's not what he was going with the whole time. But you know, what? you know, what? we're just gonna we're gonna we're gonna break this down in a minute. I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna do some research real quick. Uh, probably go back, skim through some forums on the old games to kind of refresh myself on those, because it's been forever since I've played any of those. <laughs> so we'll be back in a moment when I calm down a bit. Okay, um, so we're back with this top bar out of the way. Okay. 
breaking this down is gonna be interesting. Um, as you can tell by the clock, I didn't spend much time uh, doing research there. Uh, but again, I just said I'd skim through the forms, which refreshed my mind. Uh, so I should be okay to do some talking here. So, Five Nights at Freddy's, the sister location. We're going to ignore the rage inside. Later, I'll just go beat up the punching bag in my basement. Um, for now, we'll just we'll just do this. So, anyone who wanted to see me rant, the ranting section is over. Now, this is me just diving into what this could be. Maybe. It's a little hard to tell. Alright, so Five Nights at Freddy's, sister location. First of all, obvious stuff, we'll get that out of the way. Um, sister location, we're taking a plate. This takes place in the other restaurant. So we've had our main series in what seems like one town. This is going to take place in the sister location, which could be, you know, pretty much anywhere. Uh, probably in a similar uh, area, you know, uh, probably the same state. So the climate will be, it doesn't really matter to the game, probably. Um, so, you know, there's that. Now, I, the timeline's gonna get all jumbled. Alright, sorry about that. Uh, sibling needed help real quick. Alright, so, timeline's gonna be all jumbled up. I'm not even gonna worry about that for now. Not until we get actual information. Uh... Can I just say this looks like a clown doll? Like, if, if you look, the eyebrows, the section around that looks like that can move around or something. Because it's detached from the rest. The middle there looks like that might be able to move, I'm not sure. It's got eyelashes. That's kind of weird. Mm, eyes can probably move, but they can always move. I mean, overall, this is giving me a toy animatronic look. Um, was that? Oh, yeah. the jaw, look at the jaw, it doesn't look like that can open up. Look at the sides there, next to where it says one and there. There's nothing there that makes me think the jaw can open. Which, I don't know, I just, I think that's a bit weird. All the other ones had the ability to open up the jaw. Um, maybe that's insignificant, maybe it's not. I just, I think the movement of the face looks like it's up more... There's going to be a lot more movement in the upper area of the face, it looks like, and a lot less in the lower area of the face. But, then again, this is kind of hard to tell. We can only see bits of it. Um, the eyelashes are a lot shorter than they might look at first glance. Shadow, which tells us the light is coming from below. Um, kind of interesting, I guess. I mean, I don't know why there would be a light source from below the animatronic face, but, then again, it is just a teaser, so probably isn't actually going to be coming from below. It's probably just to give it that spooky, scary look. Um, scottgames.com, the wording there is in gray, so, you know, it's been important in the past sometimes. Uh, I don't know if it is now. Uh, if you look closely, especially around the mouth, almost looks as if, as if the uh, paint is like chipping or something. It, it, it's kind of hard to tell. It's got like cracks in it. Um, it almost makes little rectangles all throughout. So if the paint's chipping or maybe that's some sort of design or something. I'm not sure. It's hard to tell. But it definitely looks like there's something there if you look closely. Um, the way sister location, the background, like the, the highlight, I guess I should say, for those letters... Is it just me, or does that make anyone else think, like, lighthouse on the rocks in a foggy night? Ooh, ah, mysteries. More than it does FNAF. Is that just me, or is that anyone else? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Um. Yes, that's what I've observed so far. We can take a look at the bottom of the page. Fazbear, help it. Yeah, do, 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 do. Well, that's just information about him. And... Um, 
back in a second. I'm gonna see if anyone has found anything in the source code. Because there's gotta be people talking about this by now. Be back in a second. If there is, I'll mention it. Okay, so. Basic Google search just kinda. As far as I can tell, um, people aren't that. They're not digging that deep into this yet, um, which isn't surprising because this came out, what, a day or two ago? Um, so, I mean, we'll see. Maybe this will be, you know, a lot more uh, dug into later on. Maybe more crazy theories will pop up, or maybe this will be more or less just an odd mystery. Now, I would like to mention before this, because I have checked up on this site... About every week for, well, since FNAF World became a flop. Um, I don't remember how long it's been, but for a little while, they were doing just what seemed like random vowels. They, I mean, Scott was just putting random vowels here instead of any teasing pictures. So, I don't know what the heck that was. Um, now there's one thing that I would like to put out there. A lot of people are probably instantly going to suspect this is going to be a sit-in-one-place, do-nothing game. Possibility? Another, another possibility is you might get to walk around. It might be a bigger establishment. Um, you might get a flashlight, have to walk around, evade the animatronics, maybe. I don't know. Um, I mean, you know, it'd make it a bit more interesting, in my opinion. You know, a reason to come back. Um, but, you know, maybe that's just my opinion. So I think that's all I can really say about this as for now, which, geez, I've been talking 12 minutes so far. And, what, maybe four minutes in the beginning was me ranting, so like eight minutes of me trying to figure out what the heck this is, and it's just a picture of what seems like almost nothing at this point. Oy vey. All right, well... I'm going to leave it at that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video somehow. At least I'm right at the beginning. That was hopefully kind of entertaining. Probably wasn't. Let me get some of it out of my system, and that's what matters. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Yeah, I hit the wrong one.